watching Israeli News Live. Today, as you just saw here at the beginning of our video here, the, the young people running through the, or not running through the streets, but marching through the streets of Jerusalem. This particular footage I just shot yesterday in the Shuk, it's actually called the Shuk, it's an outdoor market in Jerusalem. Uh, where the young people are, are singing and, and thanking God for being able to, to celebrate Jerusalem Day. Of course, Jerusalem Day is a, is a holiday that is celebrated annually for the capture of Jerusalem in the 1967 war, the famous 67 war. And of course, this year it's the 67th anniversary for Israel as well. And just jubilations going on throughout Israel. And of course, we were at the same time, we were getting ready to, to start our trip to the United States. Uh, we were having to pack up the fly out that night going back to Europe. Uh, where also my father-in-law lives too, and to get with him and then work our way to the United States for the conferences that we'll be involved in over there. Uh, but, but anyway, it was, it, was, it was a blessing to see that. And then, of course, uh, Brother Paul Begley reported on his channel that violence broke out today uh, at the Damascus Gate. And we'd just taken uh, uh, Brother Paul and, and the precious friends that he had with him uh, from the Damascus Gate there going to the garden tomb just uh, just a day and a half ago, it seems like, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, But violence broke out there. They began rioting. Uh, the, the younger Arab uh, boys there were rioting against uh, the youth that were marching uh, through the streets with the Israeli flags. And of course, that particular part of the old city, it is definitely tense, no doubt. Uh, because it is not, there's not as many Jewish people there, other than some of the Orthodox that live not far, that'll go in and out the Damascus Gate. Uh, but tensions did rise. There was one policeman that was injured. He was hit in the head uh, with, with a stone. Uh, but of course, the police brought it under control rather quickly. Uh, but anyway, uh, between, besides this here and other news, uh, Ukraine, they, they have been meeting uh, with uh, Moscow, uh, has been re meeting with the U uh, U.S. diplomat uh, Nolan uh, on, on the Ukrainian issues. They've also met uh, recently with uh, Secretary of State uh, John Kerry. And uh, the, the Russia, the Russia's diplomats said that the talks were sincere but tough. And another part that they say that uh, the U.S. agrees to the Minsk agreements but have their own way of interpreting them. And while all this is going on, there is huge tension and fighting still going on in eastern Ukraine. Of course, the western Ukrainians are saying this is only exercises, but they've captured two uh, Ukrainian soldiers from the east uh, in an attack that they did on a city there. And uh, so things are still extremely tense, and, uh, and, and there is fighting going on. There's not peace as of yet, so who knows exactly which way this will go. Uh, but anyway... Uh, we hope to keep you up to date uh, as we're going along here. We will be traveling, as I said, to the United States uh, from, from um, Prague here. I'll be going to Austria, from Austria to Germany, and from Germany back to the United States. Uh, so it'll be a little bit uh, patchy. We will, we will actually be doing news uh, from, our, uh, from, from an iPad so we can kind of keep you up to date with the things that we are seeing there, then as well. Anyway, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom and good afternoon.